Now let's talk about keyword density. Now key keyword density basically it's a very basic thing where you are using keywords that are relating to the searcher's intent, you know, in the content of the web page. So in um, in this case now, right? In this case where I'm showing you like angel investors in Africa, in this particular web page, right? If they are using, if they want their if they want this website to be reached by people who are looking for them, right? If they want this website to be reached by people who are looking for them and they, they just want this website to rank high in search, what they are obviously going to do is that the keywords that I'm looking for, right, have to be in this, like have to be in the content of the web pages. And it's not just that the, the content, the, the keywords will just be placed like, at um, like they just placed anywhere in the in the website or in the web page, right? They have to be placed in strategic positions where me as a searcher would be able to easily read it and it would make sense to me. So my search was top angel investors in Africa, right? Obviously, if you want this page to rank higher in Google or in any search engine um, results page, you have to be using those keywords in the content of this web page like it should be obviously in the intro section it should also be in some other elements here in the in the um subtitles or in this or in the subheads right so it should it should just be in there like the keywords should be inside it should be included in the content but it should also be included in a way that it is obviously readable and doesn't disrupt the flow of the article or the of the content where it just looks jarring and people can't even read it. Do you understand? So you have to make sure that the keywords that people are searching for are also utilized in the content of the web page. So that's basically using keyword density to, to improve your um to improve your visibility or improve um your ranking in in your in the in the search. So I'm going to move to the next one, which is, let me share this page, which is image optimization. Now, image optimization is a somewhat simple but technical um, element in this case. Now, if you come across different websites where there are images in what, like images in the content that you're reading, let's say you're looking at, um, um top five meal plans to lose weight right obviously in that website that you're looking at or in that website that you're reading there are going to be images of food that you know are relative to that search right so image optimization in this case now would be that on the back end of the website the image is named properly so it's not just going to be img img slash the hyphen number dot jpg it will be oh um um cheesecake i don't know cheesecake is not a food that you can use to lose weight but it will be let's say um rice it will be rice let's say it's jello rice jello rice dot jpeg right that file is already named properly and because it's a keyword it would also be an underlying element where in the search engine results page, your website is likely to come under, like your website is likely to rank higher because the images that are used in your website or in your web page obviously have keywords that are related to that search, right? If Jello Fries was a food to lose weight, too, you know, it's obviously like helping bringing out your page to rank higher on the search page. Right, this this um, image optimization is a technique that people obviously use when they have control of their website. Right, so you can also use descriptive text in image optimization. Descriptive text is basically um, having to describe um, the image using text. Do you understand? So on the back end, there are ways that you can do this with plugins like um, WordPress. Basically, image optimization is, you know, making sure that your files are named properly and you're using alternative descriptive text to 
describe describe your your image in a way that the keywords that are using are relative to things that are in your search like that are relative to the things that the person is searching for you understand so let's move to the last one which is internal linking now internal linking is basically links from one page on the same domain to another so you're on a particular web page right and it is still on that same domain right so internal links are just links on that same web page in the same domain to another one let me use an example here so okay this is a good example so on this particular website where we have angel investors in africa right there are so many internal links that are embedded in this particular web page now on rising tide africa here rising tide africa is obviously like a group of angel investors in africa right however this is an internal link because it's obviously it's an internal link to it's an it's an internal link on this particular domain but it's leading to another one so if i click on it to take me to um rising tide it's take me to risingtideafrica.com which is their own website right so that is an internal link where it is obviously um it's obviously like a link from one page on the same domain to another so that's another way where you can optimize search engine optimization where um you're using internal links that you know are on the same domain name are on the same page but they also link to another um website or another web page now the reason this might be a bit um um uh, new to you or a bit technical to use because you're obviously learning seo for the first time but by the time you start immersing yourself in a lot of seo content you will start to get familiar with a lot of keywords and a lot of these terminologies my best advice for you guys now is that even after this class you go on youtube look at seo practices look at seo fundamentals you know just search for how to do seo so the things that just if you are following my slide right you can just if you're following my slide, you can just make sure that. Hold on. If you're following my slide, you can just make sure that all the things that I'm moving forward, say introduction to SEO, you can look that up on YouTube. SEO basics, you can look that up on YouTube. On page SEO, look it on YouTube. Off page SEO, look it on YouTube. So all these things are things that you can easily get familiar with as you know time progresses. Just make sure that you know you're not um you're not left in the dark with a lot of this information because SEO can be very, very technical, but at the same time, you have to be able to understand the basic concepts of how websites work and how um, SEO works by doing, like, like by immersing yourself in a lot of this information that is readily available online on platforms like YouTube. So let's move to the next one, which is off-page SEO. Now, similar to, um, on page seo off page you off page seo refers to like actions that you can take outside your web outside of your website to increase traffic now all these actions include things like backlinks from other websites right and link building those are two things i'm going to talk about as the class progresses so um backlinks are links from other websites to your own do you understand so other websites that that would link to your own so you have been able to link you have been able to use copy the link of your website and you know finding um other websites that have you know either relatable search or uh, are very relatable to the content on your website and then you also have your own links on that particular website so that when people are also reading that particular website they can also get to discover yours by using backlinks and you know the more high quality backlinks that are that your website has the higher it is to likely and the higher it is to rank in the search engine results page do you guys understand so backlinking is one of the very key things in off-page seo that you can optimize for your page to be for your page to rank higher on the search engine result page so apart from um, backlinking there are other things that you can do 
to drive traffic to your website using off-page SEO. Right now, off-page SEO is not using things like um, like the things that we mentioned before, say meta tags, keywords, image, image optimization, internal linking, all of those things. Off-page um, SEO has like refers to actions that you can take outside of your website, outside of the elements of your website. There are things these are related things that you can do outside you know of your website and also the things that you can do are leveraging social media content how you can use social media content to drive traffic to your website right remember that we mentioned that seo is basically a process of making sure that your your website or your web page ranks higher in search right your, your website ranks higher in search where people are searching for it now one of our goals here is that we're going to be leveraging social media content to drive traffic and once it's driving traffic it's obviously going to improve the ranking in the search engine results page so that it's not just on the fifth page it's, it can lead to ranking on the first page and if it's ranking on the first page is it one of the top 10 links that are displayed on the search engine results page these are things that we have to consider so we have to make sure that even as when we're doing off-page SEO, we have to make sure that you know we're leveraging social media contents to drive traffic to that website. Apart from social media contents, we're also leveraging content marketing. Content marketing is essentially um, using content, using content creation to um, educate or entertain or enlighten a particular audience in a means to sell or market something to them, right? So we are also using content marketing to increase or yeah to increase um the web traffic on your website the third thing that we can also leverage of that we can also leverage using off-page seo is influencer marketing where you are partnering partnering with influencers that are relative to your target audience and also have a good following because when they have a good following and are relative to your target audience it's just a seamless process where there is easy conversion to for people to make decisions on your website say you want to drive traffic to your let's say a tech hub for instance right if there's a tech hub and you're partnering with influencers you want to be partnering with a tech influencer who has a particular um who has like certain dominance in that particular industry right and so because of that his influence he's able to um use his influence to i um, enlighten people about your product which is the tech hub right so when you partner with when you partner with a when a tech hub for instance partners with a tech influencer it's a seamless process for them to gain um to gain customers or gain 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 customers or clients from that um influencers target audience or that influencers audience because you guys because it's a mutual um target audience where the tech content creators audience also will be interested in the things or the sales like in this in the services or the goods that um, the tech hub has to offer so it's like a mutual beneficial kind of um um partnership going on there so influencer marketing is one of the things that you can use to um, influence off-page SEO. Now, let's talk a bit about um, fundamentals here in SEO. Now, we have to talk about things like keyword research. You know, keyword research has to do with uh, researching keywords that are very, very relative to the, the search intent of um, the searcher, right? Where we are using keywords yeah, you're you researching on keywords that are not just um, popular, but are recent and also relative to what um, the person that you're trying to target is searching for. So keyword research is the process of finding keywords that your target audience is searching for. That's the best way to simply like put it, right? And once you know what keywords your target audience are searching for, you can optimize your website and your content around those keywords public.